Hey guys, I was looking through my medicine cabinet to try and find some sort of medicine that I could extract the active ingredient from. I found with this particular aspirin that all the inactive ingredients are insoluble in acetone, but the active ingredient, acetyl salicylic acid, is soluble in acetone. So this should be a relatively easy extraction and I think it'll be kind of fun. If you want to do this yourself, you're just gonna need pretty much one chemical. You're just gonna need acetone. If you have ethanol, that will probably work too, but you have to make sure you look at the ingredients on your aspirin because the ingredients I noticed varied a lot when I was uh, buying it on Amazon. So I dumped about 150 tablets into this mortar and pestle, and I'm just gonna see if I can crush it up. Probably won't be too hard. I uh, pest crushed one of them and it worked pretty well. So I'm just gonna try and crush these up into a powder now. It's about 95 degrees in here right now, and I've been crushing aspirin tablets for about 10 to 15 minutes. Uh, it's a little bit harder than I expected, but I'm almost done. This should be powderized enough for my purposes. Each one of these pills weighs a little bit less than 400 milligrams. We have exactly 127 pills, so we should be able to theoretically get 41.275 grams of acetylsalicylic acid, considering each pill has 325 milligrams of it. This is a theoretical yield, of course, and we won't actually get 41.275 grams. I'd be surprised if we even got 35, but we'll see. The next step is to dissolve all of the acetylsalicylic acid with this acetone. This container is a little bit smaller than I expected, so that's going to make our percent yield probably worse than it should be. I never realized how light acetone really is. I know its density is a little bit less than that of water, but it just feels like it's not even half that of water. Now we stir. It has been stirring for about 10 minutes. What I'm going to do now is try and filter off the stuff that didn't dissolve with this coffee filter around the beaker. If you have a vacuum filter, this will be a lot easier. What we're left with is a pretty gross sludge of wax, starch, cellulose, and a few other things. I'm just going to let this sit out to evaporate for about 24 hours, maybe 48. We'll come back and see what happened. It is not completely dry yet, but it's pretty close. And I think it's pretty cool to see these crystals on the bottom of the beaker. This is the final product. It took much longer than 48 hours to actually completely dry. It looks like it came out looking pretty well. So what I'm going to do is weigh it now and transfer it to this little container. Uh, I definitely spilled a little bit of it, probably like seven grams worth. I'm not sure, but I'm just going to transfer it to this little container and we're going to see what our yield is. So we wanted 41 grams. This definitely is not 41 grams, but maybe we got a nice 20. It looks like I got about 30 grams. Considering I spelled some, I'm definitely satisfied with that. I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, pretty simple video. Please comment, like, subscribe, you know, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, everything, you know, the deal. All the links will be in the description. Peace out.